What up players, it's Wallboss Tay up in this mud. Welcome to my unboxing of the, the Space Marines boxed kit for the Tactical Squad, the Space Marines box set. So, just my light there. You get two sprues in the Space Marine box. We're gonna take a look at each one and the different types of builds you can make. So first let's take a look at this sprue. It's got 10 legs, 10 sets of legs. It's got some shoulder pads. Two of them are sculpted. They have sculpted details on them. Um, this, there's got this like iron halo kind of thing. Very cool. You've got a studded shoulder pad. And then you've got some cool shoulder pads down here. One of them has uh, this interesting looking embossed section on it. And the other has an Aquila. Very cool. You've also got this one with a sniper's bullet or, or marksman's bullet, I mean, which I think is an honor that they can get. And then you've got here at the top a parchment, hanging parchment. Some of you might recognize that from the old kit. Um, a hand that looks like it's holding a missile launcher, melt -a bomb, <coughs> missile launcher nozzle, a missile launcher with a, a servo arm with a backpack with all the missiles in it, a holstered bolt pistol, the missile launcher arm, crack missile, what looks like a skyfire missile, and the frag missile. So that's cool. That's really, really cool. And embossed back banner. And you've got banner tops. You've got three. The golden eagle aquila, the skull with the iron halo, and the skull with two little wreaths around it. Ammo packs and pouches. Three of the larger ones and three of the small ones. And that's the first sprue. Second one. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen heads. How awesome is that? Three Mark VI Corvus or Beaky helmets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Mark seven. I believe they're all Mark seven. The ones with these frowning grill, uh, grill plates on the front. And a lot of them have different kinds of like tiny little things that mark them out like this guy's got a little targeter right above his head uh, some of them have skulls on the front um yeah they all look different some of these guys have studs i think i believe the studs are to mark seniority like they've been serving something like each 50 years you get an iron stud to put over your eyebrow something like that and then you've got the three unmasked ones this one here with the with the looks like a little gas mask And you've got this new one with the mohawk. I think that's awesome. So very cool. Lots of uh, good sculpting detail on the face. A little bit more. There we go. Nice. Okay, then let's take you through the torsos. You've got uh, 10 back pieces, which are all identical. Then you've got the front pieces. So all slightly, just a little bit different than the next. The new ones are these ones with like the wreaths across the front. Uh, these new ones that used to have these four or these two straps at the, at the top, but they used to be four. And um, yeah, like this one, very Iron Warriors, Iron Hands looking one with the grill on the front. And yeah, otherwise pretty, pretty cool. And there's this one with the, the gorget across the front. So I think this is supposed to be like Mark 8. They said that the Mark 8 ones have this raised neck piece. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you get an extra chest piece, uh, piece which is pretty cool. 10 backpacks. The backpacks are all pretty similar. Some of them, the new design, have these smaller grills that only go up halfway. Uh, this one that... Ooh, excuse me, that's about to see this sneeze. This one that has like a little horizontal grills and a skull in a little kind of vestibule looking thing. And oh, this one looks pretty cool with the exposed insides. And yeah, you've got a scroll case here, a sword, chain sword, where, and the teeth of the chain sword looks actually sharper than before. So that's pretty cool. Power sword there, very nice. Grenades, you got frag grenades here, the ones that look like um, those old pineapple grenades. 
that Americans used to use in World War II. You've got crack grenades, these kind of smooth ones with the little band around the center. And a whole bunch of purity seals. Purity seals, I remember when I first got into 40k, I was like, what, what are all of these things? Purity seals are kind of prayers, devotions, acts of valor, good heroic deeds that the Space Marines want to remember themselves by. So they'll write them down on these strips of parchment, or their chaplains will, and they'll affix them to their armor with wax. Very cool, very cool. Last brew we're looking at are the weapons and the arms. So you've got a whole bunch of arms, pairs of arms. We've got uh, some more tabards or parchment pieces that you can write scroll work or script work on. You've got bolters. Now, the interesting thing is that these bolters come with the hands on them. The old Space Marine kits, you had to clip off the trigger piece, the handle, and just glue it on top of the Space Marine's hands. The arms used to have the hands already attached to them. So this is pretty cool that they're doing it like this now. It's also pretty interesting is that they all have different kinds of detail and design on the bolter fronts. Winged skulls, uh, winged aquilas, skulls, stuff like that. We've got a plasma pistol here and a gravity, graviton, graviton pistol. Sniper scopes, really nice. A combi section, so you could put like the top of a plasma gun onto a combi bolter and then you have a combi weapon. So you've got a gravity gun, melta gun, and a plasma gun that you can do as a combi weapon. That is pretty cool, never done before. Got a combat blade, Auspex, which is like a little GPS system. A hand holding an ammo clip for reload, I love that. A hand holding a grenade, a hand pointing, hey you, come over here. And on the other side we've got a combi flamer. Yeah, combi flamer with a little purity seal on the end of it. And you've got a gravity gun, a plasma gun, a melta gun with a little aquila pendant hanging off of it, and a regular flamer. Finally, power fist and hand holding a bolt pistol with a little marksman's badge and two knives. So, so much stuff backed on these, on these sprues and it really gives you a good deal to work with and to uh, put into your bits box. So, much more packed into this than the old sprues. And yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. You, you, there's a lot of ways you can build them to show all the different legions or chapters, more so than ever before. You've got pieces that look very specifically like they can belong to different chapters once you paint them up. And they don't all just look like there's no, you know, chapter specific. You don't see shoulder pads with the Ultramarines U on them or anything like that. So a lot of freedom, great for a collector, great for a gamer and painter. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.